everyone and welcome back to Juby Road for February's layout update. Now since the last update I have done an awful lot of work around a few different places on the layout and that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. I'm going to be showing you what has been going on. Uh, at the end I am going to run some of the new locomotives that I've turned up and I will be running uh, my Captain Tom Moore Class 66 in light of recent events. I think that would be a nice uh, idea just to run that at the end as well. So let's get into the layout update and see what's been going on. I've been doing work over this end of the layout then. As you can see I have put this uh, sort of security fencing in and that's the access point to the gate there where they can get in to the network rail yard. If we carry on going down here, I've done a bit of greenery work. You can see the wall there. One of the trucks delivering the excavator there, ready to go and do its job. And then we have, you know, more greenery and the entrance in. Well, there's going to be the gate where you can just see the gates are open there while this uh, uh, quite heavily loaded uh, lorry is coming out of the area and then slopes down all the way down into the shed, which you can see down there. Uh, if we go up to this area, I have uh, started work here as well. I've got some lighting done. That one seems to be off. I don't know what's happened there. Uh, I've got to paint this and detail it and all that kind of stuff. That's just and sort of a little industrial building. There is a light in there as well. So that's looking all rather nice. Uh, all the ballast has been weathered except for down the center of that platform. Uh, I still yet got to glue that. So that's something I really need to do. As you can see, the train spotters are back uh, doing their work there. I'm not sure whether they're in breach of COVID rules, but here at Juby Road, there is no restrictions. Yeah, absolutely nothing. <laughs> I wish that was in real life, huh? Uh, obviously, we got the station name boards there, and we got these. This is the uh, danger sign saying you're not allowed to go past this point, otherwise you'll get shot. <laughs> Obviously not, we're going to go shooting my passengers, that wouldn't be a great start, would it? Uh, these are the new coaches, which if you've been following the channel, are uh, arrived. I will run these uh, later on. We've currently got the BD Well Tank at the head of them, and nice combination that is, isn't it? Really works rather well. So let's go up to the station concourse area. Here is the station concourse area then, so far. You can see it's quite a big area. It's all being painted. Well, obviously I need to weather it and stuff. The access road will go into the corner there. We've got this sort of in little industrial area just here, which I've painted and started work on. And then we've got this wall here. It's already been weathered. This was on the old level with some graffiti and all that kind of stuff. But I'm rather happy with that got a little forklift sitting over there uh, obviously I got to ballast all of this as well but that will come very soon we have a closer look then at this area these this is where the buses will be picking up passengers from the station uh, I've started a bit of work on the car park here we've got one car there just arriving into a space let's hope he doesn't hit his uh, nice Volvo there <laughs> uh, we got a pay and display meter obviously the road markings are not here yet if we go over to the station then we've got sort of the big paved area, we've got a uh, where you put your cycles and uh, obviously we've got a tree here and this is where I'm going to put the modern bit of the station building so the passengers can get down to the uh, platform just here. It is a Metcalf building and I've joined the waiting room which should be on the platform to the main building and if we come down, yeah, I think that looks rather nice, needs a bit of work here and there touching up and what that kind of stuff. And then we got this area. I still don't know what I'm going to put here. It's possibly going to be a hotel of some description, more car parking, and a bit of a back scene there. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Let's go and have another look at another part of the layout then. Just a quick look of what we've got on the depot. You can see I have uh, started weathering the area. We've got a few different things here on the shed at the moment we have the lovely Janus we have a well black five it is basically it's a pile of junk I don't know what on earth is going on to it it can't even pull five coaches around my layout but this can pull more and it's lighter 
what on earth is going on this? We have to investigate that. Got a 67 HST, but if we look at there, yes, we've got the new Dapple Trans Pennine Express liveried Class 68, and what a stunning model this really is. Really striking livery, great level of detail, great quality. I was going to do a full review on this, but I've decided not to. Uh, I will be running it in the running session at the end, so you can see it. Probably put it with some Mark IIs, I would imagine, at the moment, because we're waiting for the Mark Vs, which, as you probably guessed, I will be getting. But again, if you haven't got one of these, seriously, you need to go and get one, because they ain't going to be around long. And just wow, just look at how good that thing looks. Oh, London Transport Pine Tanks in there as well. Now in the uh, sort of the main, still the main vocal point of the layout, which is the city scene, I haven't been done too much work here recently. Uh, I need to buy the uh, road marking stencils. I think scale model scenery do those, so I really need to get and buy those. We got this bus, which has been put on the layout, a sightseeing bus. Now this, I yeah, this came with the Shakespeare Express um, train pack from Bachman. Uh, so I thought, that looks nice, we'll put that on the layout. Completely not a local bus, but never mind. Uh, if we go over here, I've now done the embankment area for the tower to sit on, as you can see. Uh, it's still... is it dry? It has actually dried. But I want to put another layer on that, just to give it a little bit more strength. Uh, that won't be there, I'm just there playing around. Uh, my idea for this area then, I hope you like this. Now. I would imagine a lot of you would have heard of Conway Castle here in Wales. Now, that's where a train goes basically right round the castle walls. That's what I'm going to do here. The castle walls are going to come across here, over the road, and then over the tracks. We're going to have two towers each side of the track with uh, a castle wall spanning the two tracks. Um, you know, it is going to be loosely based on Conway, as I said. And I think this area would really look nice with the train going into the castle wall area. Uh, I'm actually going to sort of kit bash in a way the um, new Metcalf castle wall kits, with, which is the same uh, series of kits as the tower. So I'll be making them fit how I want. And then I said the two towers here to make it look really quite special. Uh, and then I'm possibly going to put a curved station in here, each side, call it Castle View or something, I don't know. Uh, stone platforms in keeping with the castle walls. Um, and obviously we're going to put some trees around and some gravel and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I think that will really look smart. Looking from this angle, seeing the train coming out of the castle wall, I think would look... Uh, rather nice. So that's what I'm going to be working on over the next sort of, m well, month uh, of February. Down the opposite end of the layout now to the city area and obviously I've done even more work. I did say I've done a lot and I have detailed this area. If we just come down and look up, I am so happy with that. The back scene really does fit in well. Obviously we got gaps here which I'm going to put more greenery in and stuff like that but that will come uh, very soon. And you can see I've used different types of bushes. I've just used the standard foliage and some of this stuff which is really quite finely detailed this. I really like that. Can't remember who it's from. Sorry guys. Uh, as you can see I got the cross country voyagers sitting there and I love that. Uh, obviously we're going to put more detail where the brown paint is here. I'm going to be putting in, let me see if I got some, yes I do. This concrete cable trunking. I'm, I've just gone for this one. I know it's slightly oversized and i got to weather it, but that's going to sit all the way along here and there will be a signal just here uh, protecting the station entrance itself. Uh, if we go up on top, I've also done the work up here as well. I did use static grass to give it a bit more depth and stuff. We got an old tree that's fallen down and you can see the sort of the messy area there. The work continues. I've also done all of that. Uh, we'll go and have a look closely in the corner because I've done work up there. All this has got to be obviously painted and static grass and bushes to look at quite a messy embankment but you can kind of see what I'm going for there. 
we're on top of the tunnel now and you can see the uh, castle ruins just there uh, I want to put uh, more detail the static grass in here and you can see there's little bits and pieces which need a good uh, touch up there because that's been around on the old layout as well trees I'm gonna put all across here and grass and bushes and all that kind of stuff maybe a few different plants growing this has had two layers you can hear it. it's lovely and solid you normally only need two layers you don't really need three unless you're gonna put a lot of weight on it but that's pretty good and then if we come over this area I'm rather happy with this this is the pool area I can't seem to get it clean I don't know what is going on I really need to find a way of cleaning that maybe a microfiber cloth might do that I used a paintbrush with water but every time it dries dirty which is a bit of a pain uh, you got the swimmers in in the lake no as someone said they're not dead <laughs> well I hope not uh, we got a little people camping just there uh, I've got done some of the rock work if we just go in a little bit closer done the static grass in the corner which was an absolute nightmare to do because there's a board in the way and the way the ceiling was is sloping absolute nightmare that was a few days ago but I think it was worth it now this area here I'm not gonna super detail because I'm hardly ever gonna film it because the trains are well down here and that is all the way over there so I'm not necessarily gonna film it too often so I thought I'm just going to make it look nice but not super detailed I know a lot of people out there would but I'm not going to and I do want a lookout tower somewhere up in this area I'm not sure where yet and then we got the sort of the embankment down to the main line itself obviously I gotta continue there that's how it's done guys simple packing paper with plaster cloth on the top really simple and nothing done on this side of the layout either but let's go and have a look at the Clifton Valley Railway next sorry guys I did say this was going to be a quite a long episode because I've done so much work here at the layout so we're now going to have a look at the heritage line here at Jubilee Road which is called the Clifton Valley Railway and I've done a fair bit of work here too now I wanted an embankment so it sat on the woodland scenic risers this is going to be the platform obviously they need detailing a lot these are the Metcalf platforms and if we look all the way down there the track is all fitted all the way down yes I know we got this huge gap here I'm getting chicken wire and this is going to be a massive embankment or valley hence Clifton Valley Railway signal box then we just got it there probably a little bit oversized for what it's going to be used for but that's okay and then we got the point there which I need to join the second track in so let's go down the other end to have a closer look there we go we're down now the other end yeah it's a little bit messy here there will be an embankment along here as well to cover up all this and as I said the embankment will be here uh, those platforms are obviously not supposed to be there they're actually going over to the Sunnybank model railway when we're allowed to meet people up he's having those uh, I decided to give them to him because I'm not using them and he needs some platforms so I thought we might as well be nice and send them over to him uh, we got a little farm crossing just here and I have started work on the access road into the farm and as you can see here is the farm itself with a lovely thatched cottage uh, it does look really plain at the moment but obviously this is all going to be detailed and you can see the height difference from the board to the track bed itself uh, I've used card you can see if I zoom in I have just used I think these are one inch risers yeah one inch card on top track on top I probably should have used cork on you but ah well are you not going to change that now because the tracks not pinned it's actually glued and it's absolutely solid I've used, I use no nails believe it or not and uh, it dries clear so you wouldn't notice I have started work on the uh, sort of the embankment there around the Clifton Valley Railway uh, it curves around here I've used set uh, curves which is fourth radius on these that'll do just fine for Heritage Railway it comes along here yeah guys I know sorry it's a bit of a mess because of all the work I've been doing and then it will eventually curve around there where all the locos are sat and it will f complete a full loop under the board and go down to the station area where we just were and that is the work that's been done on the layout here over the past month since Christmas which is a lot and you can see that I really really getting on with it because there's literally nothing else to do 
obviously I'm really really lucky I'm still going out to work uh, full time I do have two days off a week where I do literally nothing uh, I haven't been out of the house other than work uh, on my days off I don't leave the house so I'm up here working away on the layout so yeah loads has been done and as soon as I turn the camera off I'm gonna get on with more work doing the second layer on plaster cloth in and all that kind of stuff uh, well yeah that that's the tour of the layout as it stands uh, February 2021 let me know what your thoughts are uh, or anything I could put uh, around the layout like on top of the tunnel where you think the lookout tower could go or anything else that could go up there or any detail you think I could add just let me know it'd be nice to hear from you and yeah I just, I just like hearing from you what you think of the work I'm doing I said many times before I'm not the best at scenery work and I'm not after an absolute accurately detailed you know layout here it's not based on anywhere I haven't got any plans of what it's going to be like. I just do it. Uh, you know, I'm not going to go for super detail because I don't have the time or the money to do that. I just want a nice looking out. I can run some trains and look at that scene in front of you. I love that. That's not amazingly detailed like you really can do it, but it's good enough for me and I'm happy. So yeah, please let me know in the comment sections below what you think. So we're just going to have a little running session now with the new locos which is will be a DAPO class 68 in trans pennine livery I was going to do a full review on that but I decided not to now we do have the new uh, 94 uh, panny tank fitted with sound will be running uh, we'll also run the uh, new LNER six wheel coaches and I'm going to fit in uh, the Hornby 66 Sir Captain Tom Moore, uh, considering he passed away the last a couple of days ago, really sad, fantastic guy, but I thought, let's run that loco. So that's it from me, I'll be back here with loads more railway content for you very soon. Enjoy this mini running session here at Jubilee Road. Bye everyone.